Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. And another heavyweight news and notes mashup video today, starting with Dillian White with the clock ticking on him completing his end of a contract to fight Tyson Fury. He has until the 21st of February, and it's expected by Frank Warren and Bob Arum that White will take all of that time. And this sort of, not delay, but using the whole time, the silence, has certainly been something that has, uh, you know, irked Tyson Fury, Aram, Warren, and co. And Fury has constantly been calling out White. And again, no different this week. So here is a uh, another clip from Tyson Fury. And if the fight does go ahead, the WBC has put the union belt on the line. So saying on its website that uh, it proudly announces the union belt. Uh, a unique belt will be presented as a special trophy to the winner of the highly anticipated fight between the WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury and the WBC interim heavyweight champion Dillian White. The union belt extols special elements to celebrate and commemorate the United Kingdom through boxing. Seriously, if they're cre creating all these sorts of uh, special commemorative belts, they've obviously got too much uh, time and money on their hands, which obviously they've taken from the fighters, uh, the money that is, and probably at least for some fighters who've been waiting for title shots time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. But moving on, so Zan Kosobutsky versus uh, Johan Dorpe is off due to COVID. So Dorpe has posted to a social media that it's not happening to be rescheduled, saying, and this is the translated version, friends, it is with great regret that I announce my fight is cancelled. My opponent's team has been quarantined because they have cases of COVID. The fight will be postponed to a later date. Huge disappointment. The desire was there, but the desire will also be there next time but the remainder of the card going ahead including heavyweight fight between Jose Ladaway and also Dusan Veletic and that's going to be for a WBC trinket and you might note with interest uh, apparently Jose Ladaway listed at six foot four and a half Dusan Veletic six foot five yeah that looks more than half an inch doesn't it Elsewhere, the card between Aslan Bekmakmadov and Marius Vak for Eye of the Tiger Management in Canada, Canada also going ahead. Vak uh, weighing in at uh, 260.8, the lowest he's been since 2017. And then you have Aslan Bekmakmadov, who was 259.2, lowest he's been since 2018. But although he consistently has been between 260 and 265, but a rare sighting in the 250s uh, for Makmadov, Big Mac. So that fight going ahead, uh, Vak in decent shape for him, and that is probably good for his chances going a few extra rounds, but I do expect Arslan Bek Makhmadov will be looking to hit, hurt, and take out Marius Vak as soon as he can, because he'll go after him. But Vak, he can be crafty, he can survive, but uh, we have seen him beaten up before by the likes of Martin Bacoli, that was stopped in about seven or eight rounds. So, I mean, we could see something similar here, but if uh, Makhmadov can get through him quicker than anyone else has, it's a statement of sorts, but remembering Vak is 42 years old at this point. Already got his next fight booked, so he is certainly in that faded gatekeeper sort of category, although the chin still good as we are aware from recent years. Uh, another fight, too, between uh, Simon Keane and Sean Del Winters. That's going ahead. This is the weirdest shot, isn't it? He's looking down. Why wouldn't they just take a photo with him actually looking up at the camera, the crowd, etc.? Bizarre. But, uh, yeah, that's not a bad little card. That's on punchinggrace.com. The Universum card, that is on Universum's YouTube channel. Potentially, you may need VPN. I have seen it's also on Fight. But, um, yeah, I think the YouTube route is certainly the way to go. Um, and just talking about, where are we here, Fraser Clark. So his opponent has been confirmed. He's weighed in 18 stone, 4 pounds. The opponent confirmed as Jake Darnell. So it looks like this is his first pro boxing fight, although he's got a, a slew of them scheduled for the next couple of months. But he has uh, competed before in bare knuckle boxing with a loss. 
a knockout loss at that too. So despite some talk that they were going to be having, um, you know, he wanted, this is Fraser Clark, to have that Joe Joyce sort of uh, build up. And remember Joe Joyce, when he turned pro, they got him Ian Lewis in, a very sort of tough, grizzled pro that most guys would sort of fight after 10 fights. That's not in this league, but it's not to say that they won't move Clark quickly. But um, yeah, this late notice opponent, it's it's not great, but uh, he should go in there, get the job done and uh, get a win in the win column. And he sort of said this week at the press conference, I can box, I can fight, I can adapt. And that's what I'm going to need to do. Meanwhile, next week, so February the 24th, Sonny Conto, the top-ranked prospect, returns to the ring. He's going to be facing Mike Marshall, and it's going to be on something called flowcombat.com. So you can watch the fight there. I think there is a cost involved, but a press release had come out about this um, card next week uh, being powered by um, flowsports.com, whatever the case. But um, if you're interested in following following Conto, who looked to be pretty decent in his early prospect fights, but he's had some injury and inactivity. So he kind of, there's a bit of a question mark about where he's really going. And this is not a top ranked card, but he is still a top ranked fighter, as I believe. And rounding out this uh, heavyweight news and notes uh, mashup video, so Lucas Brown, who's been posting all these photos uh, of him on people's bodies in recent days, that's not what I'm here to talk about, but somehow he looks kind of cross-eyed in half of them, um, but he had posted, and I can't even find the clip now, a couple of days ago, but I've got it up on my Twitter, so he says there's a, a, a fight in play with Junior Farr, potentially, for May the 22nd. Anyway, what do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.